Page and I am a kindergarten teacher and today I'm teaching you about weather and climate. So let's start talking about what is weather. Well weather is described as the state of the atmosphere. So what's going on outside right now? So if I were to think about what's going on outside right now, I think it's cloudy, kind of rainy, and it's chilly. So I talk about what I saw, how it feels. So let's look at what it weather is actually defined as. So temperature, is it hot, is it cold? I've told you today is kind of chilly. It's in like the 50s, so it's a little bit colder than what we would normally like. Precipitation activity, I said it's kind of rainy, so it might sprinkle on and off, but precipitation can be snow, rain, sleet, hail. If you're in other places, the hurricane can bring the rain. It kind of just depends on where you're at. Um, stormy, cloudy, sunny, so I said it's cloudy. So. That's, it's just what you see when you are outside. What is in the atmosphere? What is in the sky around you? Now, if we go and we look at climate, climate is what is in the atmosphere over time. So over like 30 years, what is the atmosphere like? So here in Nebraska, our atmosphere changes quite a bit. So sometimes our summers are super, super hot and sometimes they're not that hot. Right now, our spring has been kind of chilly and rainy. Um, and our winters sometimes are a lot of snow and sometimes are not hardly any snow at all. So it kind of just depends on what is going on in the atmosphere. So if we're thinking about climate, we're thinking about how is climate measured. So NASA actually measures our climate for us. And NASA has, of course, things in space looking at Earth. So one of the things that they look at is the sea levels. Is the sea level rising? Currently, sea level is rising, which means the polar ice caps are melting, which means there is a climate change going on. So we need to be mindful of how we treat our environment. So it's the measuring of our temperature, wind, humidity, snow, and rain. So they also look at the climate um, change in our clouds. So are we having more clouds? Are we having less clouds? Is there more rain? So they look at all those things and they report back and, and see is there climate change going on? And of course, right now we have seen lots of research showing that there is climate change. And moving on from just what is weather versus what is climate, we're gonna move on to the water cycle. So if we look, here's the uh, quick picture of what a water cycle is. So you start with the precipitation, which can be rain, snow, sleet, we know, and it falls down and it, some of it becomes groundwater, which waters our plants and our crops and our trees. And some of it will run off and it'll be a collection. Now a collection can be anything such as a lake, a river, a pond. And once it collects enough, the, it'll eventually have a sunny day and the sun will get hot enough that it'll heat up that water and it'll evaporate into the sky. It evaporates and it condenses into the clouds. When the clouds get heavy enough, they release the precipitation back down into the atmosphere. So, the, so it goes around in a circle and of course the precipitation doesn't just have to be rain, it can be snow. So say the snow sits on the ground for a while, we know that eventually some of it goes into the ground once it melts and some of it could be evaporated up by the sun and back into clouds. It just depends on the season of the year. So today we are gonna make our own rain cloud in a jar or in a cup. So I use just a plastic clear cup. You can use whatever you have at home that you can see through and you fill it up with some water so that way you can see as the rain falls. You also use a, a cheap shaving cream. It can be any kind of shaving cream. Just make sure you shake it so it's not all watery and that you don't use too much because then it takes the rain forever to come through. You also need blue food coloring, which will um, show us that the rain is falling. So it's gonna act as the rain. So here's our atmosphere. Here is our cloud. So I'm gonna put the cloud in there and then I'm going to put our rain on top. So this is acting as if the condensation is building up inside the cloud, building up so much that eventually it releases it. And you are going to see it that the rain will start to fall down. Remember, this can be any precipitation, but we're using this as rain today. So the rain's falling in the atmosphere and eventually it'll build up at the bottom as a collection. So it could be like a pond or a stream or a river, maybe a lake. And with some time it'll have a sunny day and it'll evaporate back up into the sky and into clouds where it of course will get heavy again and it'll fall back to the ground. And that is our water cycle. 
Um, check the website for some other activities that I'm going to post for um, younger grades and older grades, as well as some facts about weather and climate. Thank you.